This video was requested by two people, Josh and Peter, who wanted to know more about the play that Jokic drew up. For people who didn't see the video, Nikola Jokic essentially told his teammates what to do and where to be, which ended up with a wide open corner three. Before I continue, I apologize that this is the only video I could find on the Nuggets broadcast because the Bucks broadcast wanted to showcase Bobby Portis' back instead of the play itself for some reason. But for people who don't watch the Bucks, their defense is predicated on stopping drives to the rim, which means they have to sacrifice threes. For the last three seasons, the Bucks have given up an average of 14 threes per game which is good for 29th and 30th respectively. Now most teams in the league don't have a big man that could shoot consistently from three, but the Nuggets have Jokic. For most pick and rolls, the Bucks use a drop coverage where the big man will drop down because they don't have to worry about the big man popping. But this wouldn't work against a big man that can shoot like Jokic. So instead they tried using a hard hedge where the man guarding the screener would hedge out and then recover to their initial man. Although it sounds great theoretically, this created other problems which showed early on in the game. For example, here Giannis jumps out and now Green is behind the defense which forces Grayson Allen to rotate over, leaving Monte Morris open in the corner. Even without the screen, Green gets behind the defense again which pulls Holiday into the paint and leaves Aaron Gordon open in the corner. And so basically when Jokic was in the middle of the floor and another teammate gets behind the defense, this created open shots which Jokic wanted to do on the play he created. Here he wants Highland to run a dribble handoff with Forbes because he knows what Holiday is going to do as the low man. Then he tells Rivers to go into the corner to maximize spacing and that's when Aaron Gorin comes up to screen to Jokic's right. Now if he screened the other way, DiVincenzo would be able to help one pass away which makes the set ineffective, but by going to Jokic's right, he has more room to work with. The Bucks try hedging again, and it doesn't help that Matthews tries to go for the steal. Gordon gets behind the play which forces Holiday to help, and this gets Highland a wide open 3 in the corner. And because of this coverage, the Nuggets were able to get wide open 3's in the corners most of the game, and it's not surprising that they destroyed the Bucks in this game. So I hope you guys got a better understanding of what Jokic saw throughout that first quarter and why that play works so well. If you have a video request, please use the link below and I'll take a look. Besides that, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.